Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video we're going to take a look at how you can get your hands on challenge battle medals as well as also a free Legends Limited guaranteed ticket from the challenge battle event for the 6th anniversary. So this is a special edition challenge battle event. It's slightly harder than the other challenge battles that we've done. Uh, at least I felt it was but it has some added benefits. So for those who don't know, challenge battles have five different, diff well, six different difficulties. They have a one star difficulty, two star difficulty, three star difficulty, and a four and five and six star difficulty. In terms of like challenge battle, how it works is you can only attempt each stage once per day. If you beat the stage, that's it for the day and you can come back to the next day. You will get challenge battle medals based on the difficulty of the stage you've completed but also the units that you use some units give you some extra performance now ultimately at the end of the day there is also missions and these missions are very valuable for two reasons firstly you can get your hands on legends limited power should you clear battle one to five any of the difficulties basically up to a total of 25 times and should you do it 35 times then you will get a free ticket that will give you a free Legends Limited character. So really quite good stuff. Um, Legends Limited power is always appreciated. And then like I said, then you also have the added bonus of being able to get yourself some Legends Limited characters from a summon. You do have to complete 35 attempts at the event. So what that means, quite simply put, the event is up for 10 days. Should you go and do all five difficulties every single day, barring Scream, because Scream doesn't count, then what will happen is after seven days, you'll be done. So pretty simple. If you are looking to have everything done, well, I think it's up for 17 days, sorry. If you are looking to have uh, only, maybe you only have units or maybe you have a weaker team and you can only do difficulties one and two, then you're pretty good to go. And you can do those every single day and then just finish one difficulty three attempt and you'll have enough. So it's a very uh, interesting, it's an interesting premise, basically. So you don't have to do the five star difficulty or four or three uh, regularly. Just doing the one and two and then one or two threes here or there will get you the like rewards for the ticket and the Legends Limited power. This is my team for the five star difficulty. Uh, if you want to, you can copy this team. Uh, it's just a team that I felt is relatively accessible because it's a lot of sparking units that are going to be available on banners and summon banners and are from the last anniversary. So the possibility for you to have them to some capacity is relatively high. The battle itself is quite challenging. Uh, you definitely need to make sure you're playing properly, uh, at least if you're using this team. It is definitely 100% quite a challenging fight. Uh, the units are quite tanky and if you don't have enough damage you're going to probably run out of time before they defeat you. At least that's how I felt. I had a harder time doing enough damage to them more than them being able to beat me. Some suggestions that I do have uh, when it comes to like building your team or anything. If you are, you can consider uh, potentially looking at giving your characters more health gear if you're struggling with staying alive. Alternatively as well, when you are fighting, whenever you vanish step, look to use a key blast directly afterwards. The AI won't dodge this. And of course, be aware that you cannot use your rising rush in the early stages of the fight against Frieza and Goku. So only use your rising rush pretty much when the, um, only use your rising rush when you have the uh, Freezer and Goku switched out. Or like when they've just recently switched out. But yeah, that is basically it for me. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, it's greatly appreciated. If you need any more help, you can always let me know. Uh, I'll try my best to give you assistance. There's tons of great benefits here. So definitely, definitely, definitely do the challenge battle. But you can also exchange for Chrono Crystals, Tons of really awesome rewards. And honestly, it's one of those events you just really need to play because it gives you such a big slew of rewards that can help you out. 
But yeah, that is uh, pretty much it for me.